Haley Schley. Eleven years ago, a nuclear power plant disaster occurred in Fukushima, Japan. Nuclear waste and radiation is being cleaned up to this day. Right now, in school, we are 30 miles away from the nearest nuclear power plant. Imagine having bomb threats that close to you. What would you do? Choosing between your family and home or having nuclear radiation being leaked out. NATO should imply a no-fly zone. First, I will talk about what are used in nuclear power plants. Then, I will talk about an example of a nuclear power plant that got destroyed and the negative outcomes. And then, I will learn, and then I will talk about why we should impose a no-fly zone. Nuclear power plants use radioactive chemicals to get energy. According to Dr. David Wiley, who has his doctoral degree in instructional psychology and technology in the book, Lumen Introduction to Chemistry, last updated in 2020, states that nuclear reactors use nuclear energy, uses nuclear, nuclear elements to create energy. The elements are uranium-235 and plutonium-239. Mixed together, they are very reactive. According to Christopher T. Hansen, who has a doctoral degree in political science in the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission article published in 2020, states that plutonium-239 is the most reactive out of the two and the radiation is, can be absorbed and handled easily. Now that we learned that the there is radiation in nuclear power plants, I will talk about an example of a nuclear power plant that got destroyed and the negative side effects. When a nuclear power plant gets, a, gets destroyed, it affects the people and the environment. According to Nato Khan, a former Prime Minister of Japan, in the book The Fukushima Nuclear Power Plant Dis Disaster and the Future of Renewable Energy, published in 2018, states that the Fukushima nuclear power plants got destroyed by a tsunami and an earthquake. After that impact, they started leaking nuclear waste and radiation. According to Juan Shigemura, professor of health sciences at Mujero University in the Clinical Neuropsychiatry Journal published in 2021, states that workers and people that were surrounding the area struggle from anxiety, mood and stress disorders, substance abuse, and they also have mood disorders. Now that we learned the negative side effects from when a power plant get dis gets destroyed, I'm going to talk about why we should impose a no-fly zone. We should learn from past incidents and imply a no-fly zone. The physical and environmental tragedies that come from a nuclear power plant getting destroyed is far more worse than anything that you can imagine. It's almost like an atomic bomb going off if it was to get bombed. Now that we talked about why we should imply a no-fly zone, I'm going to... Nuclear power plants. First, I talked about nuclear power plants use radioactive chemicals to get energy. Then I talked about when a nuclear power plant gets destroyed, and the negative side effects. Then I talked about why we should impose a no-fly zone. NATO should imply a no-fly zone. In times of war, we need to keep in mind that it's affecting more than just our government. We should learn from the Ukrainian power plant disaster that it affects our environment and the people around it. And it takes longer than just decades to clean up. 446. Great job. One.